Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve dy by dx plus 1 by x equals to e power y by x squared. Solution given differential equation. dy by dx plus 1 by x equals to e power y by x squared. So we can notice that the given equation is not, not in direct form. It is neither Bernoulli's nor linear or in any of the forms which are which we are discussed earlier. Right? So what we'll do is we'll simply reduce this equation to linear form by making some simple substitution okay so if you notice in the linear equation in y if you notice the standard form of linear equation in y in rhs part we'll have k p and q are either functions of x right functions of x alone or constants Okay, in RHS part, either we have a function of x alone or a constant, but not the function of y. But here we are having a function of y, e power y. So what we'll do is, we'll eliminate e power y from RHS part. So how we can eliminate e power y from RHS part? Simply, you can bring this to LHS part. Then you get 1 by e power y times the LHS part equals to 1 by x squared. See? e power y got eliminated from RHS part. Then we will get 1 by e power y into dy by dx plus 1 by x into 1 by e power y equals to 1 by x square. Right? Now we have 1 by e power y into dy by dx plus 1 by x into we can write reciprocal of e power y as e power minus y equals to 1 by x square. Now we will make the simple substitution. Let e power minus y equals to u Now differentiate with respect to x. So here we are going to use chain rule. du by dx equals to du by. Here you are having function of y, right? So we will include a differential dx in between. Okay. Now we will find derivative of u with respect to y since u equals to e power minus y. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to y. Then we'll get du by dy equals to derivative of e power minus y with respect to y is minus e power minus y. Then we'll get du by dx equals to Replace derivative of u with respect to y by minus e power minus y into dy by dx. We know that e power minus x is reciprocal of e power x. Then we can write e power minus y as 1 by e power y into dy by dx. If you notice in the first term you are having 1 by e power y into dy by dx but we are having minus 1 by e power y into dy by dx, right? So to multiply both sides of this equation with minus then you will get minus du by dx equals to minus into minus plus 1 by e power y into dy by dx. Now it is easy to replace this term by minus du by dx and e power minus y by u. Okay. 
let u equals to e power minus y then minus okay you can just write this as for our convenience e power minus y equals to u then 1 by e power y into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. Then the above equation becomes, now we will write the above equation in terms of u and x. Okay. The first term becomes minus du by dx plus 1 by x into replace e power minus y by u equals to 1 by x square. You notice location of du by dx is minus 1 but we have to make this to plus 1 so how we can make it to plus 1 we will simply multiply both sides of the equation with minus then we will get minus into minus plus du by dx minus into plus minus 1 by x into u equals to minus 1 by x squared So now we are having du by dx minus 1 by x into u equals to minus 1 by x square, which is in linear form, right? Or we can say linear in u and x. We know that the standard form of Linear equation in u or u and x is du by dx plus p into u equals to q, where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants, and the integrating factor is given by e power integral p differential dx and general solution is given by u into that is the dependent variable into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into differential dx plus c. So now by comparing these two equations we will get p and q and we will find the general solution to the given equation using the general solution formula of the reduced equation okay where p equals to minus 1 by x and q equals to minus 1 by x square now let's find the integrating factor so here p and q are in x right so we call p and q as functions of x alone because it does not involve any other variable other than x we will find the integrating factor which is given by e power integral p dx is equal to e power integral for p minus 1 by x into dx write minus outside the integral you will get minus 1 by integral 1 by x dx which is equal to e power minus log mod x This is equals to e power minus log x. Since we know that m log n can be written as log n power m, then you can write minus log x as log x inverse. Also, we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x. So, from this we will get x inverse that is reciprocal of x. So, we got integrating factor 1 by x. Now, we need to find the general solution.
the general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor equals to integral q minus 1 by x square into integral integrating factor into dx plus c is equals to minus integral 1 by x square into 1 by x dx plus c. We know that reciprocal of x power n can be written as x power minus n. Then we will write 1 by x square as x power minus 2 and 1 by x as x power minus 1 into dx plus c. Here the base are equal so we will add the powers x power minus 2 into x power minus 1 becomes x power minus 2 minus 1 which is equal to x power minus 3. Okay. Now, we will write this as minus integral x power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 into dx plus integral constant c. We know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. So, compare the integrand with x power n, then you will get x n equals to minus 3 which is not equals to minus 1, right? So, we can apply this formula to this, then we will get minus x power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1 plus integral constant c, you will get minus x power minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 by minus 2 plus c. Again, you can write this as 1 by minus 2 into x power minus 2 plus c, which is equal to minus, you can write 1 by minus 2 as minus 1 by 2 into since we know that x power minus n is reciprocal of x power n, then you can write x power minus 2 as reciprocal of x square plus integral constant, which is equal to minus into minus plus 1 by 2 x square plus c. We are having u into 1 by x equals to 1 by 2 x square plus c. Now take the same of these two terms, you will get. 1 plus 3 into 2x square, 2cx square by 2x square, right? Now, replace u or simply take this 2x square to RH, uh, sorry, LHS, you will bring 2x square to LHS, then you will get u into 1 by x into 2x square equals to 1 plus 2cx square here. 1x gets cancelled and you will get 2 into u into x equals to 1 plus 2c x square. Since u equals to e power minus y, so let's replace u by e power minus y. Then you will get 2u for u equals to e power minus y into x equals to 1 plus 2cx square. Also, you can write this as 2x e power minus y equals to 1 plus 2cx square, which is the required solution. Therefore, 2x e power minus y equals to 1 plus 2cx square is a required solution. So, we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.